You know, I've always felt there was something about fresh fallen snow. Growing up in Ohio, once a year at least, we had a good snowfall and it just covered everything. The roads, no matter what they looked like before, would be smooth and white. Your yard, whether you had stumps or holes, or it, it all had this kind of blanket uniformity, this covered of whiteness. And, and I, I love the picturesque uh, landscape covered in snow. Now, I don't like the cold. I don't like the problems that sometimes come with snow. But the beauty in it is there's just something special about it. Well, this morning as I looked out my window and I saw the snow-covered streets and yards and parking lots, it made me think of something else. You know, in our lives, we often have those imperfections, don't we? Much like a pothole on a road, there's something in each of our lives that maybe isn't perfect, it isn't right, it could even be dangerous or harmful. But as I saw that snow blanketing everything and the whiteness and the purity in it all, a verse came to mind. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18 says this, Come, let us now reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And as I thought of that verse, and I looked at the snow, I, I remembered that in my life, those imperfections that have been covered by the blood, those imperfections that have been made white as snow by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. For many of us, there's snow covering our ground. There's snow all around us. And no matter what your feeling about snow is and the complications, no matter what the circumstance may be right now, understand that those imperfections in your life, those sins that are as scarlet, can be made white as snow. So I challenge you today, when you look out your window, do you thank God every time you think of your sins being made white as snow? As you think of those imperfections being covered up and the righteousness being laid upon your account through Christ? He paid it all. All to Him I owe. I'm so glad He paid it all. And I'm so glad that He made my imperfections righteousness as if they were white as snow.